Alright, so it's Friday, uh, September 20th, I think? 21st. Friday, September 21st. Um, I know it's been a couple days since I've uploaded anything on this particular vlog, uh, but holy cow, I've had one busy, busy week. Um, I will go ahead and upload some behind the scenes stuff that I did in fact record every day this week. I recorded stuff, I just never was able to edit and then upload. But right now, I am actually on my way over to uh, pick up a 50, millimeter, a 50 millimeter lens for my friend Chris, because I've got a wedding to go film tomorrow. Uh, it's about three hours, three, three and a half hours away from here. It's uh, slightly north of Indianapolis. Man, I'm shaking a lot. Yeah, so it's uh, slightly north of Indianapolis. I gotta go shoot a wedding. Uh, this particular wedding is going to be interesting because I'm, I'm actually contracted to do this. This isn't like, you know, a wedding that I, you know, booked myself and got myself and, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep all the money. No, it's, uh, I'm getting contracted out to go do this. Um, I'm literally going to go film the wedding and then I got to send all the footage to this particular company and they'll edit. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's, I think it's going to be fun, but uh, as of today, I gotta go pick up, um, I gotta go borrow one of my friend's drones, because I still don't have a replacement one for the one that I crashed and lost and got stolen from. So I gotta go pick up a drone uh, and meet with a couple of realtors to take some uh, photos of, uh, you know, their listings. On this Friday, September 21st, I'm, uh, I'm at a house right now. A realtor friend of mine uh, often asks me for my services to do pictures and video, so I'm here just doing that, going around this house. It's a like a two-story house. It's pretty nice, like in a very nice neighborhood. So, yeah, this is this is something else I got to do today on this Friday. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the video and the pictures edited for him and get it out him get it out to him tonight, so that I can just focus on doing the wedding filming tomorrow, three hours away from here, which is in in Indianapolis, Indiana. So. Alright, so now I'm up here doing the photography part of it, you know, this whole listing, so obviously you gotta make sure your camera's on a tripod, still with the wide angle lens. I'm using a 16mm Sigma, what I really want is the Laowa 12mm, <laughs> but that's like a $900 lens. Anyway, I gotta show you this. Sorry, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan, but uh, I'm gonna have to use your sombrero for the rest of this video. All right, so I just got done taking photos and video of this house for this realtor friend of mine. Obviously, the house didn't get listed, so I'm going to be making a short video about, you know, the inside, outside of it, yada, 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 you know, all that jazz. While I was over there, though, one of my good friends by the name of Julius Maddox uh, shot me a text message and uh, said that he was going to be at the gym uh, here shortly, so I am now headed over there. To go film him a little bit. If you don't know anything about Julius Maddox as of yet, you will. Uh, he is currently going for the world record for bench press raw. So in other words, no steroids. It's just, you know, pre-workout, whatever, and then boom, that's it. Just straight power. Uh, a few weeks ago, Julius Maddox, myself, and a couple other guys traveled out to San Jose where he went out to a competition or a meet, as they call it. He went out to a meet over there called Boss of Bosses 5. And uh, over there, he attempted the American record for the bench press, which is 723 pounds. Yeah, I said that right. 723. The world record is 738, which when we were out there, in uh, San Jose, he didn't make the American record like he wanted to, and it wasn't because it was too heavy, it was technicalities of it, the way he approached the bench, his mental his mental attitude towards it, like he was freaking himself out all week long, you know, like the days leading up to when we got there. So, you know, just like an entrepreneurship, like this game is very mental, like if you're not mentally tough, you're not gonna last. Same with, you know, powerlifting, if you're not mentally tough, you know, you're, you're going to fail, even though you can technically do it. So, Julius left San Jose a little salty about that, obviously. Who wouldn't? He left, 
you know, San Jose kind of, you know, motivated. Uh, so next month, October 13 in Louisville, he'll be doing another meet one more time where hopefully he will smash that record. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be there to film him as I did when I went out to San Jose, basically vlogged everything. Uh, links for that vlog are going to be in the description box below. But, um, you know, we're not going to be able to, or I'm not going to be able to go out there and film him smash this record because October 13 actually have a wedding to film that day. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, they already booked me first, so I got to go take care of that, uh, you know, which I'm okay with. But anyway, so I'm filming for Julie's because after he breaks the world record once again of 738 pounds, um, we want to see if we can, like, make a documentary out of all of this. So I've just been trying to capture as much footage as I possibly can of my good man, Julius Maddox. Uh... All right. scenes filming today's vlog. YOLO with Cholo, baby! <laughs> YOLO with Cholo! He knows what's up. He knows what's up. Alright, so uh, I'm wrapping up the vlog for today. I got out of the gym not too long ago where I was filming my friend Julius uh, do another lift, lift session that he does there. And uh, now I gotta head over to Maybe either Walmart or this specialty store, because I need to grab a battery for this lav mic that I have, which takes one, but I don't know if they're gonna have the correct battery for it. We'll see. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, because that also helps with this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just my journey of how I'm going from broke to a, a successful YouTuber, you know, photographer, cinematographer.